If you ever use Blender to make a render of your animated scenes or still shots, then you already know that making great models with amazing textures isn't enough to achieve a good render. Because lighting your projects and scenes plays a huge role in realizing that exact attractive look that you are aiming for. And today's add-on is just about lighting. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys a Blender add-on that is all about helping you obtain amazing looking renders by using complex procedural lighting systems that can be especially useful for adding motion and life to your static scenes. Better Lighting is a lighting add-on for Blender made specifically to help you achieve and create sophisticated lighting effects to a certain extent. But what I like most about it is how fast you can do that. When you open the add-on in the M panel, you should see a new panel appear, which contains all the new features that the add-on offers compacted in a small interface. The Better Lighting add-on comes with a lot of custom lighting presets for you to use and customize to your liking. And these lights are also categorized based on the effect they create. And you have two options for displaying your lights in the add-on's interface. You can choose to display all the assets or just simply display the main categories that you want to go for. After doing that, you need to select a specific effect under the subcategory and after that, hit the import button. And just like that, your light will be successfully added to your scene pointing at your 3D cursor. So you might want to position your cursor exactly where you want your light to be looking at. It should also be noted that lighting presets that come with this add-on are animated and versatile which is a good thing. Offering many effects like caustics to simulate underwater scenes, nebula lighting effects, light passing through leaves for the gobo effect, in addition to rippling light, glitch effects, and much more. But we are not done yet, because these lighting presets are fully customizable. And before I tell you about the customization settings, I will show you two different methods for doing so. If you go to the settings panel of your add-on, you will have the ability to add a custom shortcut to quickly bring up a pie menu containing all the adjustable settings that are available for your selected light. The other method is as simple as just selecting your light and going to the add-ons interface where you can access those settings. These adjustable settings will give you control over everything, I mean everything that you want to tweak, like strength to control how strong the effect is, the animation speed, which is pretty self-explanatory. Also, it gives you control over the scale as well as the UV mapping to position and rotate your effect as you please. The settings that I just mentioned are universal for every lighting preset that better lighting offers, but there's even more because each and every specific category has custom settings to adjust the details of that specific effect. For instance, if you are using the nebula category, you will get settings to adjust the number of stars and strokes, in addition to details within the dark area. For the caustics, you get to control the distortion, aberration, and even add colors using the rainbow slider. For the leaves preset, you will get sliders for adding or removing extra details of your leaves. And for the glitch effect, you could control the range, the random color, as well as the RGB splitting. Additionally, there is a very specific lighting preset that you might find useful. What it does is that it simulates light coming from a spinning fan and it gives you full control over the quantity of the blades. In addition to the gap between them, an axis scale if you want to punch a hole through the center. This in addition to scale and animation speed in addition to other stuff. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.